Hello, Namaste, Salam Walekum, Sastriyakal. Welcome back to another session with your washer at Vareva.com. Today we are going to make nice crepes stuffed with spinach, mushroom and corn. You know in India a lot of times we call crepes pancake, pancake crepes. It doesn't matter what we are doing is crepes, nice stuffing, chunky tomato sauce and topped with cheese and then we are going to put it in the salamander. Dear friends, let's go ahead and make this dish. For this recipe, first let me go ahead and show you how to make the batter for the pancakes. Here I have got all purpose flour and I have got some whole wheat flour. So we are going to mix both of them and then we are going to make a batter. Let me make uh, this mixture of egg, milk, little bit of uh, salt and then we are going to whisk it. To avoid lumps, you always add the liquid to the solid mixture. So here is a flour and keep adding this. Uh, mixture into this flour and keep mixing first let it become like a slight soft paste then you can add the rest of it and mix it but if you add the flour into the liquid mixture it can form into lumps so to avoid that we are doing this now for making this pancake make sure that the pan is not too hot you know if it is too hot then you will not be able to spread the batter easily and also the consistency of your batter also matters pour the batter and just make a rotation like this if there is any extra batter you may have to roll it out but since there is no extra batter this is pretty good on a plate what you do is just sprinkle some corn flour so that this uh, pancake doesn't stick very easily you will be able to remove it and put it if you think you know you're going to burn yourself you can just take the wooden spoon and put it just the way you remove dosas okay and as soon as you put your pancake on the plate just sprinkle some more flour of corn flour just like this so that when you put the next pancake it won't stick to this so the batter is all done here pour the batter just rotate it you know even if you have a bigger ladle after you make one or two pancakes you will figure out how much batter to pour so that you don't have to drain out any extra batter now I am going to remove it with the help of wooden spoon just remove like this and put it on the side okay this way you know once you put some corn flour you put the other one they won't be sticking so we'll keep repeating this till you have the number of pancakes you need to feed your family now we have the pancakes enough for our uh, preparation so let's go ahead and make the stuffing this stuffing I'm just going to use some olive oil now in this we're going to add some garlic crushed garlic chopped onion ah. add a pinch of salt and you don't want these onions to brown or anything you just want them to sweat now add chopped mushroom and corn we're going to let it cook for two three minutes and then we're going to add some seasoning and spinach just we're going to put some uh, nutmeg powder wow. that's good enough nutmeg we added because we are going to add some ingredient that goes well with nutmeg that is spinach add a lot of spinach and some pepper powder crushed pepper this is going to be the stuffing in my crepes wow you know the spinach even though it looks as if I added a lot the moment it just gets heated that will become like one fourth the quantity this mixture is all cooked the corn is also nicely soft the mushroom is cooked and the spinach is all done I'm going to switch off the flame now put this spinach mixture in a crepe and then fold it like this and then into another quarter so this is perfect I'll bring in the plate I'll put in nice this chunky tomato sauce put in the crepe put some more of this chunky tomato sauce put it on one edge then fold it in such a way that this goes to the edge of the crepe like this then fold it again and put one more like this some more of this chunky sauce that should be good enough okay. now this is a thin cheese sauce pour some of it and then on the top we're going to sprinkle some grated cheese and also I've got some parsley just very little now look at this I've got some nice uh, cream sauce and uh, topped it with uh, some grated cheese here is a uh, little bit parsley if you want to add you can add 
This is a Kenwood OTG that is oven toaster grill. So I put it in the grill. So once it gets a nice coating on top, we get removed. This is super, super awesome stuffed uh, crepes. I made this chunky tomato sauce with basil. It's very easy to make. You know, all you do is blanch the tomatoes, remove the skin, remove the seeds, just chop it and in olive oil, add some garlic and uh, tomatoes and basil and little bit of seasoning. That should be making the sauce perfect. Here, wow. With the stuffing, with little bit of the cheese sauce and the cream sauce. This is hot from the plate, which I just removed from the grill. If I get greedy and put it in the mouth, man, I will not be able to taste for the next one week if my tongue is burned. Ah, you know, what is a great combination in the world? Little bit of tomato, spinach, cheese. There is nothing, nothing better than this in the world. Mm. The other day I made one dish and there was nothing left over for my son. But while I was editing it, my son saw and he got really furious. And he was like so mad saying that, Dad, you're cooking everything for yourself and eating yourself. You're so selfish. If he sees this, he'll get really mad. So I've made sure that I made an extra plate for my son and for my wife. But, ah. Hmm. You know, one should be born lucky to enjoy these kind of flavors. Dear friends, make sure you're born lucky. Make this dish. Awesome, awesome, awesome. There is nothing, there is no other word other than awesome for this dish. I hope you enjoyed today's dish, but do not forget. Varava is all about inspiring others to cook. So please post your recipes and cooking tips so others can benefit from your great cooking. Thank you.